What is up, guys? It is a kind of warm, rainy Friday night, beginning of March. Guess what? Tomorrow, the track opens up the quarter mile. So, this car is on pump gas. We don't have any 85 file yet, but we're going to pull these seats out and get some a little bit of E85 tomorrow just to throw in the tank on top of the 93 tune. No software changes, I can't do anything with the tune. Like the finalized tune isn't even on the server yet. So if I were to switch back to stage one, I couldn't even switch back to this file. So there's no trickery behind the software there, but we're gonna pull these seats out, at least the back seats. We're definitely gonna pull the front seat, but make sure that we can still do like launch control and turn off traction control and such. I think we still be able to, but I don't really know. We're gonna get these bad boys out and everything out of the trunk and uh, just to pull some weight out for tomorrow and uh, just see how we do. We're gonna get up early, meet up with uh, Jesse with his RS3, and it's gonna be a real good day. So I don't think I'm gonna film much of this. I'll just come back when it's done and let you guys know how much of a pain in the butt it was or wasn't. Well, I pulled the seat and it just won't stop screaming at me. Like it hasn't stopped for at least a minute. Well, as you can see, no seats in here. At all, so for my seat, but this thing will not stop screaming at me. I do not want to drive an hour and a half with this thing screaming at me. So I might have to put that passenger seat back in, which sucks. I'm gonna need to get some type of deletes if I ever want to take all the connectors are down in here. The front seat was easy to take out, just the four like what they call like M10s. Those weren't too bad. There's a little black bracket right there, a little black bracket in the middle of the screen. Took a T30 on the back, then you gotta like take the bracket off both sides. You gotta take that middle um, seat seat belt anchor thing out. Oh, this thing just won't shut up. But it lets me take traction full off, so that's nice. Yeah, but it just won't stop. I can't even like like cycle through any of my screens because it won't stop. Now I get to put it back in and uh, clear all the codes. All right, bright and early. These boys are heading to the track. Two very different, but very similar cars. <laughs> it's gonna be a good day. This is the IMS 850. Stage two motor built car. It'll be a very fun day out there. Just made it through the gates and there's a VP spot nice I go to pay and uh, Jesse paid for me to get in tech card and all so thank you sir it was very very nice of you I appreciate that I was shocked he's like he already paid I was like oh what <laughs> so thank you a lot Jesse that was very nice of you so unfortunately they don't have any uh, ethanol blended VP fuels here. It's all methanol and like bike stuff. It's all like C14, 13, 23, and then like M1, M5. So we're going back out just to get pumpy 85. Uh, it's still better than nothing. I'm just gonna toss a couple gallons in. Probably, I don't know, a gallon and a half, a little over a gallon and a half, and then fill up to halfway. and call her good I'm upset because I really wanted to get like some x85 I tried that once before shout out to my boy Michael Freeman that hooked it up with that at Amarillo and it really made a difference just on my regular 91 tune so all right boys here we go a little bit of e85 in the tank just a couple of gallons I think we're just gonna go to two call it good there and then fill the rest of the tank up to half should uh should help us not a slightly better time today lamborghini at the track okay maybe we can get in the lineup with jesse if jesse doesn't get kicked out for a turn. all right guys we're out here we got our air pressures down we're checking out some of the other cars this is like a regular 5.0 with like a gt500 type front end 
cow hood. I really like the way this looks. I'd put some different wheels on it. That's gorgeous. So same with this one. This is very pretty. Really nice. Lots of cool cars here. So you got the Lamborghini over there. Like some fast Hondas maybe. Of course it's mostly American muscle. You got our our lads here. Right here. It is a windy day, ladies and gentlemen, and I apologize in advance. Quite a bit of cars, not a whole lot of quote unquote street cars, I think. Most of these seem to be here on slicks and such. There's a couple on street tires. I think mean, that uh, Mustangs by us are on street tires for sure. It's not as packed as I thought it would be though. So this could go, these rounds could go pretty short. They have it split up into five groups like slick and funny car, motorcycle, street car, you know, different, different run groups. So everyone gets one pass in your group and then it goes to the next group. So it should kind of speed things up so people aren't hot lapping and breaking and all that junk. So we're just waiting for it to finally open up. Finishing up some prep here. Should be a really freaking good day. I'm super stoked. All right, guys, they're letting us do some end of track launching, and this will be the first one since the built motor, right? Yeah. So, we'll see. Okay. Yeah, that's not working. Whoa! <laughs> and that's just that's front wheel drive. Yeah, that's yeah. Just There you go. <laughs> Whoa! That's really cool. <laughs> Alright, one more time. Let's try it. Just holding the brake. Oh wow. That's really neat. Dang, I need a Cyvix in my life. <laughs> that was cool. That All was right. really cool. So the hazards didn't work, but we got all that other stuff. You go back around and try launch? Yeah, let me try. Nice. All right. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Ready? Yep. Oh my God. Oh my God. Brother. No way. That's insane. The sounds it makes on launch. Oh, that hit me in the chest. That was crazy. Man. And it feels it 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 feels different to you because you're in the driver. Yeah, so yeah. over here, it's like that's like a rocket ship. That literally feels like so much thrust. <laughs> Holy crap! That was fun. That was awesome. Thank you. That was that was. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna get an outside clip of that. Oh my goodness! I cannot believe how crazy that felt. It was, in the chest like in the chest you guys ever get the chance to ride in a ims or whatever a, any type of tuned rs3 definitely don't sleep on that because that was that was sick that was really sick <laughs> So I did that in slow-mo just so we could look at his suspension and I think my eardrums are blown out from that. <laughs> Hopefully I can speed it up or take it out and make a second clip so you can see it not in slow-mo but what about blew my drums out man. It's loud back here. <laughs> you adjusted the Haldix bias slightly? Just a little bit to see what it does. Are you ready? Yep. Crap. I think that was yeah, I think that was too. Sweet. Good lord. Alright, well, we'll see how it does on track. Dangerous.
guys, here we go. Street class, finally. My brake on. Oh, it's probably just put it in gear, huh? It is what time here? It's almost 2 o'clock, so about an hour, 43 minutes it took for us to get up. The track got started late today because of the rain last night, but damn CarPlay keeps kicking me off the mic. Holy crap, that thing is loud. All right, let's see how many cars are in the street car class. I want to go up against the RS3 just because we're friends and it's fun, but I also just want to, like, gap something random. So, so lanes three, four, and five. So I don't know if I should pull up behind him. We can go together. I'm going to have to get in this lane now if I want to. All right, guys, here we go. We're in the lanes. Finally, it's 2.30. We've been here since 9. We got here when the gates open. There's supposed to be track on at 11, but they took an extra hour to clean it because it was wet. And then every other car has been wetting down the track. <laughs> so if you guys are ever at the track and you suspect you have a leak or you brake, and if you brake during the run, you need to pull over immediately so you don't wet down the whole track because you're ruining it for everybody else. And rather than cleaning up, just a couple of feet's worth, they're cleaning up a quarter mile's worth. So keep that in mind when you guys are at the track, please. But uh, yeah, here we are. Finally about to go. We might get maybe one more run in today at the rate we're going, which kind of sucks because I wanted to test a bunch of different uh, shifting methods and stuff. But what can you do? Well, now I'm going to drag you saying low sats. So that really sucks. I was trying to get a 60 to 130 and she just double balled me. messed up that one shift but it looks like I might have been in the 122 123 range let's hope that would be nice I mean I almost caught up to her and she left way before I did All right, guys, check that out. Hopefully that's in frame. 17560, uh, eighth mile, 754 at 95, and with an ET of 11648 at 119. That's, that's awesome. So I went one mile an hour faster, and I took almost two, well, more than two tenths off my time, like 24 tenths. Yeah, so that's almost a quarter second, really. Um, that's sick but I messed up the two, three shift. So the next one will be even quicker as long as it doesn't get too hot. Hell yeah, brother. Spikes are crazy. Anyway, that was 1164 and that's what 1164 119 is what Unitronic ran as well. So if I don't mess up shifts, I need to go back and look at my GoPro video. Cause I messed, I wanted to shift at like 6,000 each time, but I messed that all up. I need to make sure I'm doing that this next run, shift at 6,000 each time. And I bet I can get an up here. Here we are finally going up for our second run at damn near five o'clock. They said we could get a third run in. It'd probably be closer to 6.30, even though they said they wanted the track to close at six. So I don't know. We'll have to go up and talk to somebody to see if we can get a third run in. I guess it really depends on how, how this run goes. But temperature is supposed to drop down to 52 degrees by 6.30. And the wind, it's pretty windy today. It gusts up to 30. Right now it's a steady 12. And uh, it's supposed to drop down to about 6 mile an hour winds by 6.30. So I think it would be beneficial to stay back and hang out. And I really want to see what this car does. His 2-3 shift messed up or something his last run. He ran a 10-9. Um, at 131, I think, or something like that. So this should be a way better run for him. And I need to focus on my shifting. I went back, looked at my video. I think I only manually shifted first gear. And then that made it, once you manually shift, it shifts at red line. 
So it won't automatically shift at like the normal points, which is even the normal points are still too high, honestly, for where the power drops off. So I need to really focus this run to um, shift at 6,000. And then if you guys saw, obviously you saw my launch. It was <laughs> My launch was good once I actually was able to launch, but I wasn't on the brake hard enough to activate launch control when I was up on the tree like a dummy. Um, I get up there and get real nervous and stuff. I don't, I've been at the drag strip so many times and I still get so freaking nervous. I don't know why I need to tell myself to, you know, you've done this a thousand freaking times, man. You need to get with the program. So anyway, really want to see what this super does. faster with that we beat that uh escape st sure as shit didn't want to lose that thing damn it held up with me for a little bit though i don't know if the car felt much better shifting it six thousand, like right on the nose maybe i should let it ride out another couple hundred rpm i guess we'll we'll see on this this should give us the data as long as the 60 foots are nearly the same the biggest delta is me shifting i don't think the temp really went down since last run maybe a hair like the hottest point of the day is what like three three o'clock or something i'd have to look on the chart but I, I don't think the temp would have went down much but now this next run they're saying we can get one more which earlier they weren't saying that so i think i will stick around for one more even though i'm freaking starving but i think it'd be worth getting the data we already paid the race so you might as well stick around all right i'm just take a nap in the car oh i'm nervous to see this nervous 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 show me the money sir no don't, don't tell me don't tell me 32 though car 32 is it it's hard to tell because they didn't print all the way did you run with that one that's yeah 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 you are. thank you sir yep. oh no you can't even tell what it was you literally can't see. What? Oh no, what is it? It says 119, so I didn't net a better. I can't even see my 60 foot. Man, what kind of garbage is this? I need to hunt down the Explorer and see if it's printed out properly. So we're up in the lanes for our last pass of the night. So that last pass, I kept talking about how I want to shift to 6,000 because on the dyno, oh, I got the heebie-jeebies. Uh, it seemed like um, power was falling off at like 6,200. So I figured I'd shift around 6,000 to try and keep it in the power band better, but that didn't do me no good. So this run, I'm just gonna let it run totally by itself um, and just let her eat. At that time, I ran, so my first one, 1164. That second one was 1171. I had, at least that's what my draggy says. I don't, I can't really make out what the sheet says. It's so hard. I'll, actually, no, Gold Kalen got it on camera. So I think it was like, yeah, 1170 or something. So I went um, 0 0.05 slower, uh, shifting at 6,000. So I guess there's time to be had. Letting it, doing it, 
on its own or shifting at a higher point. I don't know. I'm about to do like a, it's really hard to like get an exact pass over and over and just shift at different points because there's just a, like a lot of variables. But now the temperature dropped. It's a lot chillier. The DA has dropped, um, I think earlier during our first run, it was damn near a thousand. And the last time I checked, it was at, um, it just broke 399. So, and that was like half hour ago. By the time we get up there, probably another 20 minutes. So the DA's dropping, let it shift on itself. Let her eat. We're getting a, a good 60 foot, it seems. Again, I can't see on this. Looks like it says 11. Seven five maybe, which is the same as it was the first run. So we're seeing about a tenth better sixty foot here. I think it's because of the surface. I don't don't know if it's because because of the tune. I haven't ran it on the street yet to know, but most of my draggies, uh, my best on the street so far before the retune on the dyno was eleven eighty eight, and that was with a one eight five sixty I think. So yeah, so we'll definitely be doing some street testing later on. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Just hopefully we get an even better time now with the DA and the shifting itself. I'm excited. Someone wrecked or broke or something and they just canceled us in the freaking lanes. I just realized I never made like a real ending clip here. So yeah, track got shut down. Didn't get a third pass, really sucked. <clears throat> I had a good time, great time hanging out with Jesse, talking cars and getting a ride in his car and just being back at the track. And then my uh, the old lady came up with my daughter, so it was cool hanging out with the fam there and uh, you know my daughter running around the you know whatever. Great time, great overall time, but it just sucked. We only got two runs in and we were there from nine to like six thirty. So anyway, um, I'm trying to withhold my excitement here, but. You guys saw I got an 1164 there at the track, but I didn't realize how heat soaked I was getting in the pits because my car would get fully cooled down just sitting out in the parking lot. So I would be warming up the car in the pits. And you can't like engage launch control until, you know, oil and trans temps at a certain temp. So we were just warming up our cars in the pits, but um, that was a terrible idea. I went out and I found, actually found a new road. It's right down the road from my house. It's not even a road, it's a bridge. That bridge is like the ultimate place to do pools. Like it's separated. So two lanes on one side of the bridge and then it's a whole different bridge to go the other lane. And there's no places for cops to sit. There's no nothings. It's really, really sick. And I went through, I defeated my time by an amount <laughs> of goodness. Um, if you're on social media, you might be seeing it already today being posted. So I'm not going to say what it is. Thursday's video is going to be super sick. I just wish I would have turned the GoPro on while I was doing those runs because uh, I didn't think I didn't think I was going to get that much better over time. So I didn't turn it on and I was nervous running out there. But there's a lot more to come, guys. And I still need to go pick up my intake. There's still weight to be out of the car via um, big brakes. There's still the drive shaft carrier to get, Holodex clutches, bigger intercooler, um, bigger, better, um, in, or, uh, what's it called? Intercooler piping. There's so much more to do still and tune on E like, and weight reduction, like more weight reduction. Like there's so much more left on the table that what this car ran on pump gas is going to blow your mind. You guys just stay tuned. If you made it this far, you're a real MVP. Thanks for watching. Drop the thumbs up. Definitely keep your eye tuned on my social media and the channel. Um, you guys are gonna love this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip flop.